everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I kind of wanted to do something a little bit different. Um, I'm in, going to show you how I make my DIY home cleaner. Um, ever since I had my son, I've been kind of focusing more, if you hear him, he's down here playing, but like, keep looking down here, that's why. Um, but ever since I had my son, Sebastian, I've kind of tried to focus more on natural products, just so there's not so much like bad chemical smells in the air um, because I'm sensitive to them so if I'm sensitive to them he probably is too so if I'm sensitive to them he probably is too so I try to just keep things as natural as possible so if you want to learn how I make my DIY home cleaner then just keep watching all right first things first I'm going to need spray bottle. I just get these glass spray bottles from Amazon. Um, I'll link them down below. You're also going to need white vinegar, distilled white vinegar. You're also going to need Castile soap. The one I use is just the Dr. Bronner's brand and I just use the unscented one because I'm going to be adding essential oils to it to help with the cleaning power so I just use the unscented one. And you can get this at, I've seen it at Walmart, I've seen it at Walgreens, Rite Aid, uh, your local health food store. I think I've even, even seen them at like TJ Maxx and Marshalls too. So you can find Castor Soap pretty much anywhere. Probably Amazon as well. <laughs> and you're also going to need two cups of water. I've already measured out my water in this jug here uh, just because I won't have to keep going back and forth to the sink. So in here I've got two cups of water. You're also going to need essential oils. The ones that I'm going to be using today are this organic germ destroyer from Plant Therapy. So it's just a disinfecting oil, and this is the kids from their Kids Safe line. And I'm also going to be adding sweet orange oil. You can also use lemon instead, but I don't have any lemon, so I'm just going to be using this orange oil. So if you do have a child, make sure that the oils you're using are kid safe. Obviously you're not going to be spraying the spray on them, um, but it is going to be in the air. So if it's something that young little people cannot breathe, don't use it. Make sure it's kid safe. Uh, talk to your pediatrician. I'm not a doctor. All that kind of stuff. Don't take my advice. This is just what I do personally. And then you can add any other oils for scent. Sometimes I just add lavender. This is another organic kids safe oil from Plant Therapy. Uh, you could add this for scent. Um, the organic germ destroyer already has lavender in it, so I'm not really going to worry about adding lavender to this one. If you want to make it smell more lavendery, you can if you like that kind of smell. Alright, so first you're going to take your spray bottle. Just take the lid off of it and add your water. I'm just using this because it has the pouring spout, which is going to make it a little bit easier so I don't spill. You can also use a funnel. I don't have a funnel, so I'm not really going to worry about it. It's just water. It's not like you're spilling bleach. You're going to use one cup of water. Then you're going to do a half a cup of white vinegar. My son's playing with the half cup measuring cup, so I'm just going to fill this cup halfway. Doesn't have to be precise. Alright, so we've got our water and our vinegar in here. Now we're going to add our Castile soap. I'm going to do roughly two tablespoons. I'm just going to guess. I'm going to just squirt it twice. So there's one and then two. So the soap is just going to help clean, the vinegar helps disinfect, and then the essential oils help with the scent and disinfecting as well. So for the germ destroyer, I'm going to be putting in roughly 15 drops. There's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 17 ended up getting in there. It's not a big deal because it is heavily diluted. Then I'm going to put in about 10 drops of the organic sweet orange oil. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 
channel they have a recipe that's similar I'm not really sure how similar it is I'll leave a link to their video down below just in case mine's like an exact copy because I don't want to make you think that this is my own personal recipe I did get this from somebody else so but this is just what I do but yeah if you guys have any questions leave them down below and I'll talk to you later bye you want to be